All right there, YouTube. Okay, so I've got a really bad cold. <laughs> and I got all these tissue, and I got a mess back here, and I got a bowl. I was having some soup. I've had a really bad cold, so that's the reason why I haven't been on here uh, talking that much for the past couple days. I normally update a video or upload a video like just about every week. Um, it's been about a week, and I haven't uploaded one because I've been super busy. And I've been waiting for this... Uh, this camera, this Firefly camera that I got from GearBest, um, that's not it. That's not the, this is Huawei. I got Huawei phones and stuff. Here's GearBest. I got, I got a camera, so my orders, let's go to my order. Firefly uh, 8SE camera. Why am I going to this? Okay. Anyway, I got a Firefly camera, 8SE, uh, 4K action camera coming. And I also bought this, um, grab it, let me show you. I'm going to go through all this when, when the Firefly comes. I'm going to show this other, this other kit I got. I got a big kit of action camera stuff, like things to mount on the windshield and the little float thing and... The only thing is, by the time this thing gets here, it's been it's been a few weeks. By the time it gets here, it's going to be too cold to take it in the pool. My whole point was, my whole point of getting it was to ride bikes and take it in the pool. Mainly ride bikes, so I'll still be able to ride bikes with the thing. It came with a little gorilla pod type of thing, but it's like tiny. I mean, what is this? I mean, this is only good for an action camera. It's so small. But you know what? What do you say? It can I got a? I bought a kit for like. Twenty dollars or something that had a bunch of action camera parts and stuff in it. That thing was like twenty bucks. I'll leave links in the description to GearBest where I bought the the action camera and for the other stuff. When when I when I do a review of the action camera and of that, I'll leave a link in the description below. But right now, I'd like to just talk real quick. I bought. Um, I've been waiting for this action camera to do a review of my bike, and I bought I bought a bike a bicycle, and. Uh, I also bought some like a, a headlight for it and a tail light for it so that we could ride it at night. And these cool little lights that go on the wheels and they, they, they're colored or whatever color. And as they spin, they go on the spokes, it makes little circles. So when you're driving, riding, you can be seen better. It was a, they're ingenious little, little, look like little propeller looking things that go on your wheels. I just love them. I had, I had so much fun just riding back with those. We, me and my granddaughter, we rode up to the park. Uh, a couple times. I go just about every weekend. I'm not going today. Today would normally be my bike day. She's like, hey, are we riding today? I was like, are you kidding me? I'm sick. I've been sneezing and and had this cold for two to two or three days now. But the reason, other thing I want to talk to you about was this Premier Rush uh, CC plan. <laughs> okay. So my, my Adobe Creative Suite, I pay for... You know, you know, I made a video a while back about how to stop using Adobe, Photoshop, and Lightroom. I found alternatives for Photoshop and alternatives to Lightroom, but the problem was is the Lightroom alternative that I found doesn't have a way to organize as easy as Lightroom for, for, for organizing the photos. Like, in other words, when I'm editing photos like of a, of a, of a wedding... I'm going through an entire camera and I start at the beginning and I start editing and when I get to a point I'll I'll flag each photo that's been edited as keepers like just by hitting P I'll I'll flag it and then I show flagged photos and it brings up all those photos and that's it so I get ready to export those are the ones that I've edited and I'm ready to export them instead of exporting all the photos so I need a, a tool that does that and the tools that I use so far don't do that. Now, the, the new one, Affinity Photo, I think it's Affinity Photo, is coming out with a new tool. Um, it's coming out with an update. I paid for Affinity Photo a while back, and I haven't even been using it. Um, but back to this back to this Premiere thing. I'm jumping, I'm jumping around a little bit because my mind... I, I got Adobe Premiere Elements... Um, the trial to try out and it's 99 bucks for premiere elements and you can get premiere elements and photoshop elements for like 150 bucks that's for the 2019 version and in the premiere elements 
I'm pretty sure it has, um, I don't know if my trial's expired or not. It's probably going to say your trial's expired. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Let's just go add media. Um, let's go my new video. I, I already brought one. I already saved a project once. Premiere Elements 2019. Okay. So my thing is, is if you're going to, you can, you can use Premiere Elements for 99 bucks, $150, and you, you don't have to buy the program again. Right. So this is when we took a bike trip. See, and it comes up, created Premiere Elements trial version. So it's, see, it's still, your trial will expire in 14 days. Continue trial. Okay, so I, basically, basically Rush is like a, a cheap, a, a ba more basic version of this, of Premiere Elements, but it's a monthly. So like you got up at the top here, let me see. Up at the top here, you got quick, guided, and expert. So if you go guided or quick, quick basically does the storyboard type of editing. See, down at the bottom, just like, let me get this to fit inside the screen here. I'm using my wide monitor. Anyway, the guided basically has the same type of thing as, as Premiere Rush. So you can, it's basic, you can throw on transitions and, you know, you put dissolved transitions between here, you can trim it. It'll do a basic quick edit for you, you know. You know, it'll do a quick edit for you, basically a, just a quick edit. And then you can pick music and stuff like that and put it on there. See, and on the, on the right, it's even the same. It even has the, the FX, the toolkit, the thing. Everything is the same as the Premiere. I downloaded I pay for Photoshop and and Lightroom on my in my subscription. It's it's ten dollars a month or something like that for Photoshop and Lightroom um, for CC. So when I launched my updater, I'll show you. It's it's they're tricky. They they trick you is what they do. Here, let me close this. I'm gonna show you something. It's a it's a trick. So if I go to where is it? Where's my Adobe CC thing? I'll go to the Adobe CC, Adobe Creative Cloud. Okay, so when I go to my Creative Cloud app, right? I'm going to show you this real quick. It's a trick. They're tricking you. A, a typical Adobe. They try to trick you into thinking you're going to get something. So if I go to apps, right? Applications. I have the photography package, which just includes Photoshop, and Lightroom. So Lightroom CC install. I already have that installed. I don't know why it's saying install. I've already I've already got it installed. It does that sometime. No, I got Lightroom Classic. I'm not using CC. I'm using Lightroom Classic. See right right Lightroom Classic CC. But right here, underneath here, it was it wasn't under trial. It was where was it? Oh Okay, so look, you scroll down, see trial apps? That's where Rush should be, but they didn't put it there. They put it right here, as if you're, it's included. See, Portfolio is included, you get that. Spark is included, Behance is included. Acrobat DC, uh, Lightroom Classic, but that's not even included, I just, I just still have it installed. But the point is, is they put it right here in your apps. Rush CC, I thought, oh, okay, so it's now including, so the Photoshop and, and Lightroom CC photographer package, they're giving us Premiere Rush, probably to try and get us to upgrade to the full Premiere version through the thing, but it's not. It's basically a trial. You, you can export three projects, and then you have to start paying the monthly fee. And the monthly fee is $9.99 a month. So it's 10 bucks a month for just the one program. See, at least with Photoshop, you get Photoshop and, and, uh, and Lightroom. What they should have is like for, like, say for 12 bucks or something or 15 bucks a month, you should be able to get Rush and Lightroom and Photoshop. And that way, for people that don't want to do a lot, they, they're not doing a lot of, um, they're, they're vlogging. There are photographers that do some vlogging, right? That's what Rush should be for. Rush should be for photographers that do some vlogging, that don't need advanced editing, they want basic editing, and they already pay for Lightroom. Add five bucks to it a month, and it's worth it to get it. 
But right now, if it's $10 a month, that's $120 a year, obviously. $10 a month times 12 is $120 a year. For $120 a year, for $120 one time, so uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to get back to this. So, Photoshop Elements, $99. Look right here. Let me make the window fit. Let me get this to fit. Got to shrink this down to make it work. Okay. Photoshop Elements 2019 and Premiere Th Elements 2019, $150. Upgrade for 119. So if you already owned a version, you could upgrade for 119. Each one is $99. So if you're already paying for the, if you're already playing, paying for, um, I'm going to try Photoshop Elements and see if it allows me to organize my photos. Because then technically, what I can do is just get Photoshop Elements, dump Photoshop, dump Lightroom, and use my other programs that I already use for editing the photos, and just do the basic. Because all I do is move some sliders around. I'm going to get. Um, uh, Photoshop elements and try it out I'm gonna try elements and see what it does because if it does most of what I already do in Photoshop or in, in Lightroom that I don't really need to pay ten dollars a month I can pay hundred fifty dollars and and own it and not have to buy another version every month and not be charged every month for the billing cycle like I, to I talked about in another video I'm sick and tired of these con continuous billing things where they're constantly hitting your account for a little bit here, a little bit there, it adds up. Before you know it, you've spent, you know, over two years, you're spent 200 and something dollars for something that you can get for 150 bucks. So $240, 150 bucks, boom. So I, I just don't understand, I don't understand how they can charge Premier Rush CC plan for $99, $9, basically 10 bucks a month. I don't understand how you can, how they can possibly, how they justify charging that for, for this program. I tried it. It's basically Photoshop. It's basically Premiere Elements. That's what Rush is. It's Elements. It's a monthly subscription to Elements. A few other thing it has auto ducking and stuff like Photo, like Premiere has. Big deal. I can do it manually. I don't need auto ducking. Right now, the best deal if you're if you're not editing. If you're not if you're not an editor of a video editor and you're doing photography and you just want to vlog and have something to edit your stuff with, the best thing right now is Elements. So I'm gonna um, let me check Elements real quick. Um, music. Why is this up? No. Oh, it's because I restarted my computer. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up Elements right real quick and let's go file, export and share. So on Premiere Elements, export and share, quick export. So watch anywhere, share anywhere. Boom, right? File name, name it, quick export settings. All right, output preview, it even gives you an output preview. Devices, TV, mobile, custom, so you can pick your mobile uh, TV, Ultra HD, you know, it uh, exports in. 4k disc so you can even add a disc menu and burn a disc no online let's go to online uh stop it okay online youtube and vimeo there you go there's no real reason you can even pick high resolution there's no real reason to pay for rush just buy elements and buy it one time you don't have to pay for it every single month it makes no sense this is the best deal Adobe has right now. 99 bucks for Elements, $150 for Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. Don't buy Rush. It's a waste of it's a waste of money to have a, a monthly fee of 10 bucks a month for some program. Anyway, that's my little rant for the for a Sunday while I'm sick, not feeling well. Um, yeah, I was thinking of buying this for my granddaughter, and that's why I downloaded it to, to try it out to see because she she wants to do some stuff. I'm gonna get her another web camera and stuff like that, and I I, I cleared out a hard drive and got another hard drive for her so that she can do some stuff on her computer. She's getting into that stuff now. She's in high school and she can do this kind of stuff. 
So to me, this makes the most sense. Just, you know, get elements. It works the same. It's the same program. Kind of stupid. Anyway, I'll let you later, YouTube. I'm out. See ya. <clears throat> oh.